Hello everyone and welcome to the first of five short videos that will get you well on your way to becoming competent in ACC communications and handling within Flight Simulator X. To start off you have to take a look at your home setup. A respectable internet connection is preferred as this will increase the clarity in which you address other players in the server. It is advised that you close down any excess programs you may have running such as Windows Live Messenger or Skype as programs such as these chew away heavily at your internet's capacity. Furthermore, it is mandatory that you have a working microphone and that you know which button you have assigned to use it. The default button assigned for this is Caps Lock. However, if you're not sure, take a quick look under Settings and find out what button it is assigned to, or of course if you'd like to change it to another button which is more convenient, like one on your joystick. Next is to go to Multiplayer and go to Network Settings tab at the bottom of the window. Review the Voice Compression tab and take note of how many kilobits per second your voice compression is set to. Select 128,000 kilobits per second for the best level of voice clarity Flight Sim can offer you, keeping in mind that increasing this amount will naturally decrease your internet's performance, which is why it is important for you to close programs that you do not need whilst flying Flight Simulator that may make use of the internet. After you've done all that, click OK and go ahead and sign into GameSpy and find an online multiplayer ATC session you'd like to join. Keeping in mind that some ATC sessions require standard of entry, which is whether being military or a certain level of professionalism is required. Out of respect for other players, and to keep it most entertaining for yourself, choose a server which is right for you. When joining a server, take note of the description box found on all ATC servers. Most of the time, a set of frequencies will be put in there for players to use or any rules or guidelines might be announced. If nothing is found here, make sure to check the chat box when you join a session as most of the time frequencies and other useful information is posted here by the host. Once you've joined the session, make sure to choose the appropriate airport you'd like to start at, most likely where there is a tower controller present. This is indicated in the server lobby. If there is one thing I want you to learn from this video, it is this. Once you've chosen an airport, make sure to choose a gate to spawn at as well. This will prevent you from spawning on the runway and getting kicked out of the session as a result of this. Once you have made sure your location settings are correct, go ahead and choose an aircraft you'd like to fly. It is vital that in this process you choose a tail and a flight number. Your aircraft's tail and flight number should be matched to avoid confusion between the call sign you announce yourself with and the air traffic controller identifying you. Make sure also that your airline call sign is set to none. Alright, with this basic information, you're already well on the way in becoming a professional ATC session pilot. Now go ahead, press the start button to load yourself in the server, and be sure to watch the next few videos as so you're able to professionally and competently communicate with ATC to enjoy the full flight simulator experience. Thank you for watching, and please go to www.fsxblueangels.com for more information on our forums, or if you wish to contact any one of us with further questions.